Sweat fam, make sure you subscribe. It's the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout. It's round two, redone with voiceover and new graphics. Let's get it going. Work the double jab right away. We are definitely jumping directly into this workout. Throw that one, one, move around the heavy bag. Have some fun with this one, you guys. Go, double jab, one, one, double jab, one, one. Tuck that right elbow in nice and tight. See your target, move around the heavy bag. Let's get into it. The timer is on your top left hand side. This is short style workout, so you want to put as much energy as you can into every punch right away as soon as you feel the rhythm. So work the body, work the head on that double jab, and then Put some power into it once you feel the rhythm. That lead punch is the double jab. If you're new to the workout, just let your hands go. If you're new to the channel, let your hands go. One, one. It's a two minute round. Bounce on your toes every once in a while. Head movement left to right, one minute. Chins down. Hands up, champs. Snap the jab. You can snap the jab moving to your left or moving to your right. You're working at around 60 to 70% effort if you're new. If you've been on the channel for a minute, you should be working already at 70 to 80% effort. And that's of your max. Less than 30, guys. Keep working it, ladies. I know you're out there. Body, head, head, body. The bell will tell you when to stop in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, round number two. It's going to happen quick. We're working the two, three. So that's a rear cross and a lead hook. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the session. We'll always keep giving you guys the best content. Ready, go. Cross, left hook. Cross, left hook. Your rear punches are even numbers and your lead punches, so that hand in the front, are even numbers. So you're throwing a two, three on this one, which is your rear cross, and the left hook is the number three, which is that lead hook. See your target, sting them, and move. How this combination works, you gotta think of an opponent coming in and your right hand's landing with the right amount of power just as they enter your range. So time them with the right hand, and that lead hook is a little bit further away. So if they start to pull back a little bit, you can still land that left hook. And if you wanna work on picking up more distance, less than a minute, step in with the hook. Cross step with the hook and then move. Get that fight scenario. When you throw the left hook, give me a little pivot to your left and then step back to your right. 30 seconds. Really confident. Two, three, right hand, left hook. You can throw the right hand to the body or to the head. Snap the left hook with power and speed. 10 seconds, you can duck in, duck out, slip right, slip left. Three, two, one. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Good work. Beautiful work. Round number three, we're working the one, one, two, three, two, which is a double jab, and then a right hand, left hook, right hand. 
So you can work those punches and bunches, set them up with the double jab, and then throw that 2-3-2 two, two with power and speed. Set them up. The double jab, punch some bunches, and throw a 2-3-2. Two, two. Move. 1-1. One, one. Slide pause if you want it. 2-3-2 two, two, or 1-1. One, 2-3-2. One, two, two. A nice, speedy combination. Think of it as setting up your opponent. You're trying to fi find space. You're trying to determine your range. So it's going to be powerful. Have some speed with it. You have to be ready to duck around something coming through before you throw that 2-3-2. Two, two. But if you have the ability to do it, throw it. And if you want to amp it up a little bit, you could add the 6-3. So it could be a 1-1-2-3-2 one, one, two, two, right uppercut left hook if you want to add a little bit of flavor double jab two three two six three which is a phenomenal punches and bunches combination long range medium range you can work it inside Stay on your legs. Little pause after that double jab. And then next time, it could be a 1-1-2-3-2. One, one, two, three, two. Again, 6-3 if you want it. But change the tempo. Change those punches and bunches. One combo with multiple flavors, right? Give them a different taste. You want to make sure you're always mixing it up. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Rest. It's going to go quick, guys. Round number four. Energy in the heavy bag. Squat. One, two, one, two. Squat. Hook, 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 hook. Squat. One, two, one, two. Squat. Three, four, three, four. Straight. Ready? Go. Squat. Three, four, three, four. Squat. One, two, one, two. Squat. Three, four, three, four. Again, it doesn't really matter what hook you start with. Just throw four of them, squat, and then go right back into that one, two, one, two. 45 seconds. I need you to dig in and outwork me. That's why I do what I do for you guys. It's not about me pushing. It's about you outworking me. I'm only setting the blueprint. You have to build your own capacity. So let's go. Outwork me. Coming up to 10 seconds. Stamina. Will. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds only. Then we're gonna go do the exact same thing. So we're doing 50 seconds on, 10 second rest in a 50 second segment again this is all about conditioning two one go one two one two go hook 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 squat you got it When you push up off the floor, think about generating energy, guys. Use that energy off that squat to get up and rip those combinations. Don't just move, generate power. Don't just punch, use force. Five seconds. Don't stop, use mental strength. Two, one, rest. Beautiful, just like that, we are moving. Round number five, freestyle. Whatever three punch combinations you guys want. Now, if you're new, jabs and crosses, crosses and jabs. Throw in a hook every now and then, but I want speed, fast, three punch combos, go. One, one, two, two, three, two, six, three, two. Jab, cross, hook. Hook, cross, jab. Keep putting in work. 
You having a bad day? Hit the bag harder. Feeling like you're ripping into the heavy bag? Let your hands go. Work the body. Yeah, come on, pepper that hand, heavy bag. Fast hands. You want to feel like a champion here. You want to feel like a boss. Got to look good on the heavy bag. Impress the crowd. Impress your coach. If you don't have a coach, I'm your coach. Come on, so just put in the work. Let me see what you got. Less than a minute. We're working on 45 seconds, champ. 40. Three punch combos. Fast hands. Fast, fast hands. You got this. Body head, head body. Remember, there's punches coming back, so think of some slipping, covers, blocks. Stepping in, stepping out, but don't step out too far. Put yourself out of range. Stay within range, but keep your defense slick. There you go, dig in there. Three, two, one. Amazing. Three, four body, nonstop. You've thrown the three, four on your squat. Now what I want you to do is put your lead foot under the heavy bag and work the body as hard as you can nonstop. Go, all power. I need you to dig in to your mental toughness here. Lead foot under the heavy bag, and I want you to take the stuffing out of the bag. Hands come back up in defensive position. Reload and explode, let's go. Three, four, hook, hook. Three, four, hook, hook. So again, this was a drill we did for nationals where we had to do this for three minutes straight for five to six rounds to really get ourselves conditioned at, a, at the next level. It would be hooks for three minutes, straight punches, three minutes. Hooks and straight punches together, three minutes. You see what I'm saying? Non-stop. So that's what I want you to think about. Take your energy to the next level and think about what you're preparing for something bigger than just the end of this workout. Less than a minute, guys. Perfection is in the preparation. Find a reason to keep going. You are too good to slow down. I need you to dig into the bag harder. Breathe when you punch. You can do this for only 20 more seconds. Dig in. Breaking down barriers. Powering through. Empowered. Whatever words you need to use for the next seven seconds, think about it and finish strong. For four, three, two, one. Amazing. Really good set. An incredible round. Round number seven. Punches and bunches for speed. Now again, here, I want you to think about breaking up your combinations. So it could be a one, two, pause, one, two, pause, one, two. Or if you've been in the game, you know it. Bop, 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 move. So just let your hands go in a freestyle formula, however many punches you want. Punches and bunches. Let your hands go, pause, let your hands go, pause, let your hands go, pause, move, get back at it. Stay inside, let your hands go, work the outside, let your hands go, move from the outside in, inside out. How fast are your hands? So 
So the idea here is when you're fatigued, you have to find a, a way to dig a little bit deeper and tell your body to relax. So in that last round when you fatigued your system, you gotta find a way to relax and to let your hands go with speed. Look at that, eight jabs in a row. That's the idea. So use your core to help rotate your torso. And more important than that, breathe. Keep going. Two, one, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, three, mix it up. Very basic combos, but they still work. If you are experienced, work body, head, head, body, head, body, move. different levels but only bad intentions with that hand speed we're working on 30 seconds your hand speed has not changed you are so well conditioned you already forgot about your last round and you're only thinking about the victory after this round because your hands are so fast so silky so fluid defense five seconds and time your final round you guys know it squat one two one two squat three four three four squat one two one two squat three four three four ready finish strong go Squat, one, two, one, two, squat, three, four, three, four, squat, one, two, one, two, squat, three, four, three, four. Now a little faster. Yep, that's right. 30 seconds. Remember, we talked about this. If we're in the gym together, I would make you work three to 5% harder. So that's what I want from you. Work three to 5% harder. If you're working this hard, what if somebody else is working harder than you? You don't want that because mentally you want to outdo your competitors. Two, one, rest. It's the mental breaking point that you have to push against. NateBarElevated.com. Make sure you guys check it out. Phase two, ready, go. Squat, one, two, one, two. Squat, three, four, three, four. Squat, one, two, one, two. Squat, three, four, three, four. You know what to do. Let's go. Look at your target when you get tired. 30 seconds. Push a little harder or a lot. Impress me. Impress yourself, more importantly. You're sweating. You're tired, but you still want more. Five, four, a little harder. Three, two, one, and time. You guys are amazing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please, guys, we got to take it up. Hit the notifications bell so you know when these bad boys are coming out. And of course, check out Nate Bar Elevated. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next video.